one. Oh, I just sang that. So in today's video, I thought I'd do a bit of a collective haul because I've been shopping recently to various different shops and I thought that some of you might be interested to see what I've picked up because I don't know, it's just kind of got a few kind of makeup, beauty bits, a couple of bits of fashion stuff and then a few homeware bits as well. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first place I went to was Primark as always. Oh by the way, I'd just like to apologise for my hair. Yeah, I wasn't having a great hair day and it was really getting on my nerves so I just chucked it up in a bun so yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, so the first place I went to was Primark and I picked up this t-shirt which has the three monkey emojis on it which is super adorable it's just grey and it's just a standard t-shirt really and I picked this up because I thought it would be really good for sleepwear yeah, I just thought it would be really good for pyjamas and yeah I really liked that okay I'm really sorry that the camera angle and zoomed inness and all of that keeps changing it's just really frustrating me I feel like you can't see me and I felt like a floating head so I just zoomed out of it. Okay, so the second thing I got on Primark was just some of these nail buffing blocks and I just thought I'd get these because they were £1 for a pack of two and I always find these come in super handy. So yeah, I just picked these. Another thing I got in Primark was these three nail varnishes. I got one in white, one in this really pretty um, baby blue colour and I thought this would be so nice for spring and then I also just got a red as well and these were only £1 each which I think is amazing and yeah I just thought that these were a really good buy and you can never have enough nail varnishes as I would probably know because I have quite a few. If you didn't actually know I have a nail art Instagram and it's just so does nails like my name is on YouTube so yeah if you want go and check that out. So the final thing I picked up in Primark was actually this necklace and I'm not sure if you can see it but it's basically just a gold leaf on a really delicate gold chain and I believe again this was only a pound. I'd seen th similar things to this online and I just thought it was super cute so I picked that up for a pound. So moving on to beauty, I actually picked up this lip pencil from Superdry. It's by Too True and it's called Wow Gloss for Lips and this is in the shade Perfect Pout and it's basically just a nude glossy um, lipstick pencil. I've actually used this already and I actually really like it. I, again I have no idea if you can see this but it leaves a really nice glossy finish and it's just a really nice My Lips for Better nude colour. I think I was actually wearing it in my previous video. Yeah check that out. This is what I'm most excited to talk about. I actually managed to get my hands on one of the MAC, I believe it's called the Isabella and Ruben Toledo collection. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But yeah, I got my hands on one of the lipsticks from the new limited collection and oh, let's just take a moment to appreciate the lipstick. I am in love with it, like seriously. I'm wearing it on my lips now, as you can see, and the packaging is just the most beautiful thing ever. I'll show you now quickly. Um, so first off, it comes in this um, white box, and then you slide out the actual. Ooh, can't do it. You slide out the actual box from it. The lipstick itself is actually matte white, and it's got little like I guess cartoon faces on it. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see this but it's just got little faces all over it with little red lips and then it just has the red writing saying MAC Toledo collection and oh my god I just love it. I got this in the colour Opera and like I said I'm wearing this today and it's an absolutely beautiful red colour. I didn't actually have any reds by MAC and I absolutely love it. It's a matte finish which again is a massive bonus because I love matte finishes and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah I actually did some nails inspired by these so if you want to check those out I'll link my Instagram in the box below. So another thing I have to show you which I'm also extremely excited about is my new purse and I actually got this from TK Maxx. It is a Michael Kors baby pink purse and I would never normally spend that much on a purse but I saw this in TK Maxx and I'm sure the original price is much more than what I paid for it which by the way was £40 and yeah the box um, 
just looks like this, it actually like comes together, but because I put money in it, it won't fit. Um, so yeah, this is the Michael Kors Essential Zip Wallet, and if I just get it out to show you, it's just a baby pink, it's got a strap here, it has silver hardware, and um, if I just open it up, it's got, um, I'm not sure if you can see, it's got kind of like a bit for cards here, a bit for your coins. The bit in the middle actually fits an iPhone 4 or 5, but unfortunately I have a 6 so it doesn't fit, but I'm not really sure why you would put your phone in your purse anyway, I guess it's just kind of cool. Um, and then it's got three card slots on the other side. So I just absolutely adore this purse and... I'm not sure if I said already, but it was £40, but it's such good quality, it's real leather, and I just think it is an amazing purse, so yeah, that's what I got from TK Maxx. So finally, moving on to Ikea, I actually went there to pick up a new chest of drawers, which are there. You can't see them, but I'm going to show you in a makeup collection video in a couple of videos time, maybe even next video, I'm not sure. I got a few other things as well, which I thought would be really nice to show you because I think they're super cute. The first thing is actually these fairy lights behind me. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed that they were different, but yeah, I got these fairy lights. They were £8 and they're just plain white fairy lights. Uh, I also got the little plant pot in the background there. I actually picked up quite a few of these plant pots and I don't know how you pronounce it so I'm not going to even try and butcher it, I'll just leave it in the <laughs> description box below. But I picked up quite a few of these metal plant pots. I know they're all over YouTube but I saw them and I just had to get them and I think they're absolutely gorgeous and as you can see behind me I got uh, a couple of different sizes so I got two small ones, two medium ones and then a big one which is there and at the moment I'm just keeping my makeup brushes in them. They've just got this white kind of lacy detail around the top and they're made of metal and obviously they're made of plants but I think they can be used for any purpose that you want and I just thought these were beautiful so I picked up a few of these. I think the small ones were £1.90, the big ones were about £3 something so they were super affordable and I just think they're really pretty. I also picked up a candle in Ikea and this one smells incredible. I know it looks a bit leery because it's green but it's actually the smells of apples and apple is one of my favourite scents ever. I'm not really sure why, I just love apple smelling things. And oh my god, it just smells absolutely to die for. I think it smells of a shampoo or like detangling spray that I had when I was really young. And so it just reminds me of that and it smells so good and so fruity so I just thought I'd pick up this candle. Another super cute purchase from Ikea was this little lantern and I think this was £2 which I thought was amazing. Um, it just is white, they did it in loads of different colours but I really liked the white one. Um, it's just a little lantern and it opens up like this, you can put a little tea light in it and I just thought it was really nice. It's just got little stars on it and yeah, I just thought it would be really cool to have in my room. And the final thing I got from Ikea is just this glass jar and I was looking for something to put all my cotton pads in because they always end up going all over my desk when I open the packets and so I wanted something that I could put them in to tidy up my desk a bit and keep them neat. And so I just got this glass jar, it's got a little metal lid and as you can see this fits a hell of a lot of cotton pads in it and I've found this really useful so far uh, so I can just pick them out when I want them rather than having to kind of dig my hands into the little packets. You probably know what I'm talking about and so yeah I thought this was really handy and again this was only about £2 something. So that is it for my collective haul video. So if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Let me know what you think of the new background and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!